Mutu kimutu kabatu, a well-known South African proverb that essentially encourages humanity towards others, something the carte blanche making a difference trust truly embodies. Together with its generous partners and donors, the trust has now extended its reach to Sibukeng. Klemawisa reminds us that it's one thing to report on our country and it's quite another to help make it better. The cry of a distressed baby is a sound that we're conditioned to respond to. But in overburdened public hospitals that are full to capacity, healthcare workers may take long to respond, especially if there's no space for them. That was one of a myriad of problems facing Sibukeng Regional Hospital located in Gauteng. Along with a team of partners, Carolina Andropolis traveled around the country looking at existing hospital infrastructure. This group brainstormed and envisioned the planning, building and capacitating of unique children's wards and in 13 years they've had 20 successful projects. The Carte Blanche Making a Difference Trust saw that need and decided to change that by building specialized wards. 20 hospitals later, we catch up with the children whose lives we've impacted. The trust estimates it's put more than half a billion rands worth of facilities back into our children at public hospitals. Clinical manager and doctor Oba Mashele spent 35 years in palliative care and came to Sebukeng seven years ago. You can't have end of life if you don't have the beginning. And this is why pediatrics and uh, geriatrics are almost passionate to me. It's so important for me to look at it from what do we give from the childbirth so that we have the better generation and population to come. And since then, roughly 20 children came through Sibu Gang's doors per day. But these children are not just a number. Meet Umpile Mukheche, Bokomoso Iris, and Inesentia Tsotetsi. Umpile was a normal, active little boy. He's like naughty, friendly, loud, chubby. Last year, his mother, Bulano Mukheche, panicked when he began to struggle to breathe. The doctor told us that something is wrong with him. We have to take him to the, to the hospital immediately. He was found to have fluid in his lungs and stayed for a month in hospital. Were you scared when the doctors told you? I was scared. I was always crying because mm. I thought maybe I'm going to lose my son. Mm. But it's nurses like Kenneth Sejane, who is Sibu Gang's deputy director of nursing, that came to the rescue. I'm a parent. I see that mother. Uh, being my wife, being my sister, so that I can feel the same pain that she feels. The way they handled my son's life, like, he was perfect. When we got to the hospital and we, fresh, we were fetching him, he was fine. Like, I, I didn't believe it. Umpile has fully recovered and is back to his lively antics. As is the case with Innocentia, her mother Eni Tsotetsi noticed she wasn't eating. She was crying about the stomach only. She was too weak, I don't know. And then what did they say at the hospital? She has a sugar diabetes. She had to change her entire diet. Yeah, something like sugar and also the milk. That stuff we eat, she doesn't eat. Patients like Innocentia will continue to go to the hospital for the rest of the foreseeable future. She knows how to inject herself, she knows how to check the sugars, but I just help her to make sure that she does everything well. But at first I was scared, but now everything is fine and they treat her well there. And she also fine when she's there, she's happy. All the sisters, they love her and she also loves them, so it's like home for her when she's there. You must first be happy because a, a smile is infectious. It starts with you and then from there you transmit it to your patients. Bokomoso is one of many children who'll need lifetime hospital care. His mother, Puseletso Iris, only found out about his physical and mental birth defects when he was born. So my the sisters are in comfort. I also but Puseletso helped her son fight for life, and although doctors doubted he'd pull through, Sibukeng's nursing staff believed her love was Bukumoso's best medicine. 
or Sabinsa Mount, we let a come out to and then if it came out so home and then I lift the up. We say this is uh, your hospital, this is our hospital, because you know that uh, there must be that sense of ownership. We are working together with the, with the communities, so the community must also feel this is part of their home. The bond between this mother and child is why the trust exists, and it's moments as simple as a child smiling at their mother that makes these projects so worth it. Look at it. <laughs> Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.